If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what I've got for you is some breaking news regarding the Ultimate Legends that are going to be out tomorrow. One of them was revealed just a few moments ago on the EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team Twitter account. And on there, we saw that one of the Ultimate Legends that is going to be coming out tomorrow, one of the boss legends, Greg Lloyd, right outside linebacker, looking like a pretty nasty card. Although I will say at this point in the season, I, I think it's a little bit surprising that they've waited this long to put out a Greg Lloyd. Now, I will say that in when I was growing up watching football, Greg Lloyd was one of those guys who was like one of the premier players in the league. So I'm interested in this card. But I almost never hear anybody talk about Greg Lloyd when it comes to like best players of all time, best linebackers, things like that. Other than Steelers fans, I mean, and obviously you've got a little bit of bias there, but uh, it, I just don't know that the hype is there for this card. So I'm hoping that the other ultimate legend is going to be something amazing. Maybe something like a Barry Sanders or, or you know, some, somebody like that that would just potentially be a, a big time player that we can kind of, uh, you know, at least be excited about tomorrow. Again, I am a big fan of Greg Lloyd. I thought that this guy was an absolute monster in his day. And I think this card is going to be really good, but I have a little bit of a question on if, if this is going to sell very many bundles, if, if this is the big card, you know, um, if you take a look at his attributes, they're not bad by any means. You've got 93 speed and you've got 101 acceleration. Now, We've gone over in another video whether or not the the over 100 attributes actually matter, and I'm pretty I'm pretty skeptical of it to be completely honest with you after doing my own research, which you did see on the on the on the uh, YouTube channel. But I still think that this card, even if you look at all of those attributes that are over 100 as just being 99s or just being 100s, whatever you know you fall whatever camp you fall in regarding that. This is still a really nice, well-balanced card. Now, the problem is, is that this card, the back of it, doesn't show you some of the attributes that I think are really, really important in an outside linebacker. Number one, it doesn't show the coverage attributes. Now, Greg Lloyd does have a standard, uh, just a standard legend card that came out earlier in the year. That one had 65 man coverage and 70 zone coverage. So terrible in both attributes. I mean, he really can't keep up with anybody in coverage. And his catching was only a 47. He had terrible catch in traffic, terrible spec catch. Everything like that was horrible. So he's not a card that is really exciting to, like, user control and try and get interceptions with or anything like that. And if you put him in coverage as a computer player, he's not going to do well in that area either. Now, of course, the Ultimate Legend versions of these cards are typically pretty substantially upgraded. I mean, like... Like, for example, the strength went from an 86 on his previous card up to a 95 on this one. And speed went from an 85 to a 93. So you can start to see some of those attributes went up a lot. But even still, even if we were to bump it up to like an 83 or an 80, somewhere in that range for zone coverage and like a 75 for man, that's still not great. It's not horrendous because obviously our linebackers are, we're kind of expecting them to not be great in coverage for the most part. But the other problem with this Greg Lloyd card is yes, it's probably going to have high power move, but it's going to have really terrible finesse move. And I'm not necessarily for certain that it's going to be the best pass rusher just because it doesn't have the super high end speed that some of the other linebacker cards do. So again, I do think this is going to be a nice card. It's going to be a really great run stopper. Uh, if somebody's running a quick toss towards this card's side of the field, I have a feeling that this card is going to do some serious damage in the backfield. Um, I'm going to have a tough time running against it. I can almost guarantee you that. But for your average person that throws the ball a lot more, that runs inside zone, things like this, I'm not sure that this Greg Lloyd card is going to be the best card in the game. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about this card. Are you excited about it? Do you, are you a little bit disappointed? And also, who do you think is going to be the other ultimate legend that gets revealed tomorrow? Or it could potentially even be revealed tonight on the EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team Twitter account as well. So be sure to head on over there and follow that. But again, guys, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this card? Are you excited for it? Do you think it's a little bit disappointing at this point in the season to only get a Greg Lloyd? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.